Yo what's up guys in this video we will look at how to fix course error so if you are getting course error when connecting your front end react application to your node.js server then don't worry because in this video i will guide you step by step how to fix this issue so let's get started Core stands for cross origin resource sharing. When your front end react application tries to communicate with a node.js server that is hosted on a different domain or port, the browser blocks the request due to course restriction, resulting in this kind of annoying error message like access to backend that is running on localhost port 5000 from origin localhost port 3000 which is our front end in this case and that has been blocked by course policy. So this is the error I am getting when connecting to my node.js server for fetching the skills data. Though I have my backend running on port 5000 and also I am getting the data when I visit slash skills route of my node.js server and though I am passing this data to frontend in the right manner but still in the frontend I am getting the course issue. So in order to fix this error you can follow these steps. Our very first step is to install the course package in our node.js backend. So just open your project in VS code and navigate to your backend directory and in the terminal write the following command as npm install course. So once it is installed proceed to step number 2. In step 2 we need to import the course package that we have just installed and configure it somehow to fix the course issue. So let's import course into our index.js which is the starting point of our backend application. Next we need to write app.use and let's pass course inside that. So now all the routes would be using course. Now to configure course it is going to take an object with some key value pairs. So the first key value pair should be origin. Let's set it to our frontend origin. So my react is running on localhost port 3000. I am going to set it to that. And for the second key value pair we can write methods. It should be an array of methods that should be allowed. For example we can write get and post inside that which means that now the backend could be accessed by our react application that we have included in the origin and we can also perform any get and post requests. So with these simple steps now the issue might be solved. So let's test it out. Let's run the server again and let's also rerun the client. Now as you can see I am getting my data successfully that is requested from the skills route in the backend. So guys this is how easy it is to fix the course error in a react application. At last I want to mention that if you want to see why you should not use create react app anymore watch this video.